In this video, we're going to provide the solution for question three on the final exam for Math 1220. And in this question, we're asked to determine the convergence of the series where n ranges from 1 to infinity, and we add together the sequence 2 over n to, or 5 to the n. If the, sum, if the sum turns out to be convergent, let's actually find out the number it adds up to be. And if we think it's divergent, then we can select divergent as option F. Now in this one, the key is to recognize that we have a geometric sequence. Uh, uh, this, we're adding together a geometric se sequence, so we get a geometric series here. And so when it comes to a geometric series, we do a very quick convergence test. The convergence, we have to look at the constant ratio. What is the number that's going to be repeated over and over and over again as we progress through the sequence? And we get this from the exponential expression. Um, we get this 1 over 5 to the n. So that means our constant ratio will be 1 fifth. And we're looking for the base of our exponential growth in this situation. So that's a small ratio, right? The ratio is less than 1. So this tells us that we are convergent. So by that information right there, we've already determined that F is not the correct answer. We have a convergent geometric series. Well, what does it add up to B? Well, what we get here for, for these geometric series, these things will always add up to be A over 1 minus R, where in this situation, the R is the constant ratio, so you get 1 minus 1 fifth in the denominator. And then A is just the first term of the sequence. Take the bottom number right here and plug it in. So when you plug in 1, you're going to get 2 fifths. And so now we just have to simplify this fraction. We get 2 fifths divided by, well, one takeaway of fifth uh, is going to be 4 fifths. If you're struggling with that, just multiply by the reciprocal. 2 fifths times 5 over 4. The fives cancel. 2 goes into 4 two times. And so we should be left with 1 half, uh, which is option D. And so for this question, as long as we know the geometric series formula, we could apply that and be able to answer something of a similar type.